Saturday night, the Golden Hurricane trying to stay unbeaten in the American as they hosted number 19 SMU. Find out what happened next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Philip Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by Riversbury Casino, and by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard. The Golden Hurricane on Saturday taking on their third-ranked opponent this year. And Tulsa's won two of those games now as they defeated SMU on Saturday. The final was 28-24. In a moment, we'll be back with a look at how things went leading up to the game and then first half highlights. That's next on the Philip Montgomery Show. ...by Stokes and rolling out to the right. Smith, he dumps it off short and it's caught. And it's Johnson right side, 10-5, touchdown, Tulsa. 20-yard touchdown, Tulsa. Are the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Coach Calvin Lowry, I coach our wide receivers and some of our special teams. Uh, areas I recruit, I recruit uh, most of Kansas City. I have a large portion of East Texas, and I recruit the Mansfield and Arlington High Schools. Uh, fun fact about myself, I was the first true freshman in the history of Penn State football to start. Uh, graduated high school early, got up, went through spring ball, all the training camp, and uh, was able to start. Uh, the reason why I got into coaching uh, I've been influenced by some very influential coaches, uh, Coach Joe Paterno, Coach Bob Paroli, my high school coach uh, from uh, Douglasburg High School, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and, and individual position coaches. So that's why I, I chose to coach. Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show, the 27th all-time meeting between the University of Tulsa and SMU, with SMU leading the all-time series 15 to 11, and just terrific close games, especially the last four or five years. Let's get the lead up to the game and first half highlights by broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. Guys? All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, Coach, coming in here, a number 19 team. You had a couple of weeks off. There's a lot of anticipation and buildup, and you kept saying before the game, let it come to you. Explain what you meant about not wanting to push. Yeah, you know, when you're coming off these breaks, sometimes it's difficult. You, you step back on the field, you're so juiced up and ready to play and excited about being back on the field, and, and that emotion kind of takes over you, and you don't – you end up pushing a route too deep or you're setting it too early or, or – 
you know, you're overworking your footwork part of it or you're overstriding as a court, just all these little things. And, and you want to relax and use the emotion that you have in a positive way. Obviously, we still didn't get off to the start we wanted. Yet, uh, you know, our guys stayed poised. They stayed calm and continued to just keep chipping away at it. You had a, a, an offense coming in here to play against that's averaging, you know, almost 500 a game. These guys are really good. Every transfer from the state of Texas plays there. There's nobody left at the other schools. They're all at SMU. <laughs> and you knew you had Buchel and some other guys to look at. What scared you the most about them offensively? Well, you know, obviously I think it starts with Shane. You know, I, I think he's a great operator. Uh, he does a great job just mobility-wise, moving in the pocket. He knows when to take off. He knows when to just stick in there. Hey, I've got a receiver fixing to come over and, and make a good throw down the field. And so he's just got so much experience and poise about him. And then the weapons around him, you know, I know they've lost a couple of guys, but they were running the football well. They got two different style of backs, which makes it a little difficult. Their outside receivers were playing well. Page was playing, had, had really picked up his game the last couple of weeks. But the guy that really made us nervous was was Granson, the tight end, because he's got such great speed. He runs routes extremely well. And so from a matchup standpoint, we wanted to make sure that we had people that, in the right spot with him. All right, so first half highlights. It's not a great start, but it'll get better. Here's the first half of Tulsa and SMU. Waiting the snap is Smith. Has the snap and drops back to pass. Rushes on, he steps up and now dumps it off late and it is intercepted on the right side. Crossley, 17. 10 yard, five yard line, touchdown, 17. SMU. Second down and seven out of the shotgun, Smith. He turns, now throw, no, he fumbled the football. It's loose on the turf and SMU's recovered. Third and 11 from the 22 of Tulsa. Bouchelle awaits the snap. It's a waist-high snap. He has it. Now he'll run it up the middle, right side to the 25. Now he holds up and throws toward the end zone, and it is caught. Left corner of the end zone. Granson, touchdown, SMU. And Santana, Crawford's in the right. Back to pass goes Smith on third down. He guns it to the, le to the left side. Caught by Stokes, and Stokes spinning around. Awaits the snap on first and five, and the handoff prints up the middle, barging forward. He shoulders a guy and then carries a man across the 45, 46, 47-yard line. First down and 10 from the 47. Back to pass, Smith throws left side, caught by Santana, 50, 45, 40, down to the 39-yard line. A flag flies again and again as on second and goal from the 8-yard line. Here's the snap, and Smith back to pass, waits, waits, steps up, running out of time. He is sacked back at the 12-yard line. Here's Smith, and he has the snap. He steps up on third and goal from the 17. All sorts of time, throws high and way over the head of Stokes back of the end zone. Snap is back, the ball is down. Here's the kick, it's on the way, and it is no good off to the right. On second and goal from the one yard line. Bentley is the single setback, gets the carry and walks oh into my. the end zone. Straight up the middle, touchdown SMU. That. First and 10 at the 27-yard line, fake handoff, back to pass, Smith loads a time, throws to the near side, caught by Crawford at the 37, 38-yard line. It hasn't lit it up yet. It'll be first down, a second down, I'm sorry, in six, and the handoff to Prince, and Prince trying to break a tackle with seven and a half remaining here in the first half of play. Here's the snap and a fake handoff, throw quickly on a slant, caught by Stokes. Stokes able to dive down to the 31-yard line. 21-0 SMU with the lead, first and 10 Tulsa at the 20-yard line, and now motion by Stokes and rolling out to the right Smith. He dumps it off short, and it's caught, and it's Johnson right side, 10, 5, touchdown, Tulsa! Just a little... A little misdirection look with that. Zach did a nice job of selling it, came out. J.J. opened in the flat and then got the ball to him. And then really, at that point, good good crease right there. J.J. saw it, hit a gear, and got in. Hard line for SMU. Bouchel has the snap, turns, and hands it off. Off the left side, Bentley. Bentley around the corner gets drilled out of bounds. Great play by Justin Wright. Bouchel out of the shotgun. He has three receivers to the right. Nobody on the left side. And he fakes a handoff, drops back to pass. Here comes a big rush, and Zavin Collins trying to drag him down. He throws it out of bounds to nobody. From the 35-yard line, a 45-yarder by Nagar. 15 of 18 on field goals this year. Here's his kick on the way. Plenty of distance, and it is good. At halftime, SMU leads 24 to 7. We'll have adjustments and second half highlights next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through 
ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern Comfort Food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo only at River Spirit Casino Resort. At halftime, it's 24 to 7 in favor of SMU. And at halftime, the winds shifted from mainly south to north, from north to south. The game winds shifted as well. Let's get the lead up to the second half. My broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and head coach, Philip Montgomery. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, so coach, you, you, you had a halftime, you had some adjustments to make. There's no question about that. What was your biggest conversation? Yeah, you know, we needed to settle down. We had you know, a, a couple of good drives there in the first half that we just didn't finish, but we had a little bit of things that we could kind of build on top of. And it was really about just our guys uh, getting in the locker room. We made a couple of adjustments to some things, put some focus in a little bit different area, and then really came out our first drive of the second half, did exactly what we wanted to do. We just didn't finish. I mean, we got inside the one yard line. I thought we should have scored on the third and one, went for it on fourth and one. Uh, and, and should get in right there. We needed to get in right there. But I think that drive gave us a lot of confidence, kind of settled us down, and, and kind of got us into a groove and, and found some things that were really working for us. Now the Cardiac Canes are going to about pull the comeback. Here's the second half highlights. Tulsa and SMU right here at H.A. Chapman. It's first down and 10 Tulsa at their 25-yard line, trailing 24-7. to seven, And the handoff goes to Wilkerson, who breaks a tackle at the 25 to the 30. 35-yard line, diving forward, catapulting on third down and 11 yards to go. Smith out of the shotgun. Has the snap, waist high. Back to pass, has time. Throws, left side, caught. And Johnson grabs it at the 47 of SMU. Second down and four for Tulsa at the 41 of SMU. Handoff Prince, he hesitates. Now he finds a hole up the middle. Big hole, 35, 30, 25, 20, and down to the 18-yard line. 13th play of the drive, fourth and goal at the one-yard line. Handoff Wilkerson off the right nope. side. He didn't get it. SMU stopped him at the one. This would be a season high for Chris Nagar, senior transfer from Texas. Out of the hold of Derek Green, snap is back. The ball is down. Here's the kick on the way. It has plenty of distance, yeah, but it. it is no good off to the right. Smith out of the shotgun, has the snap, drops back to pass, some pressure from his right. Now he throws the ball, caught on the right side at the 45 to the 50, breaking a tackle right boundary, and out of bounds is Stokes inside the 40, 35-yard line. He's second and goal from inside the one. Handoff goes to Wilkerson. This time he dives in. That's a score for Tulsa. So TU with 2.51 remaining in the third quarter gets on the board here in the second half. It is 24-13, a one-yard touchdown run by T.K. Wilkerson. It was McBride, and I mean, he drilled him like he was looking for oil. Back to pass. Smith now throws it to the end zone. A man wide open, caught at the goal line. Touchdown, Johnson. Called the play, and it's a progression read, but... Zach held on, on the first read a, a little bit longer than I wanted to because J.J. just hit a gear and was open. And, and you're right, those are some of the hardest throws and catches to make when a guy is standing all by himself. You know, you don't want to overthrow it, you don't want to underthrow it, you just kind of baby it. And then again, you're waiting on it. So good concentration by both of those guys, good execution. 
So now it is fourth down and eight. And SMU will go for it from their 34-yard line. Three receivers split to the short side of the field on the right. One receiver near side left. Now motion by the tight end to the left side. So two on each side. Here's the snap. Bouchel back to pass. Running out of time. He's going to try to run it up the middle. And he is tackled at the 29-yard line. 28 perhaps. But he didn't get the first down. And Tulsa has held. And it was saving. Collins lighting him up. Third and goal from the three and a half for Tulsa. Smith has the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls out. He passes the ball. It goes to Palmer, and Palmer dives toward the end zone and is in. He catches it, and he lunges into the end zone. Touchdown, James Palmer. Our tendency, obviously, is to run. We'll continue to be run out of that. But it just felt like the right time, the right situation. Had a lot of faith in James. And, uh, you know, our receivers on the outside, they did a good job of coming off and blocking, and we slipped him out there, got him in. And then, you know, really James just having a nose for the end zone and and being tough and physical and finding a way to get it in. Out of the shotgun, Bouchelle has the snap and drops back to pass. Loads up, throws right side, and it's intercepted by TU. Coming up with the interception, Zavin Collins. Collins intercepts the ball with a minute 29 to play, and the Hurricane celebrating on the field, but this game is not over, folks. Kind of went into a uh, sticks type coverage. Sticks means, you know, where the first down marker is, you know, keep everything they catch in front of us. Uh, I think, I believe they went empty, I'm not for sure, but I was in the zone. My guy pushes vertical. He went out, pushing away from me, just turned back inside. And when I turned to look and kept sinking, saw the ball up in the air and just went and got it. And then knew, took off running. I was like, okay, I got to get down. So I slid. Six seconds to go. The snap. Smith has it, takes a knee. Tulsa wins. Tulsa wins. Rallying from a 24-7 deficit. They win the football game by a final score of 28-24. Wow. smoking the good stuff over 20 years, serving up mouth-watering barbecue, talking about slow-smoked classics like Rib Crib's famous ribs. Yeah. Hungry at Rib Crib. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. We're back on the Philip Montgomery Show. Well, there was a big win Saturday against SMU, but you know what? Ten years ago, there was a huge win in University of Tulsa football history. TU went to Notre Dame for the first ever meeting against the Fighting Irish. Tulsa came away with a win. Here's a look. 
October 30th, 2010, TU took on Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, and despite being heavy underdogs, the Golden Hurricane felt they could win. And I can remember there was, you know, wasn't any having to motivate the players that week. Uh, they knew the opportunity ahead of us, and we knew we had a heck of a football game, and we, we prepared and expected to win. TU proved early on they belonged on the same field as Notre Dame as they scored early on a nine-yard G.J. Kenny to Demaris Johnson TD pass. And then Notre Dame starting quarterback Dane Crist scrambled for 29 yards, but TU's Tanner Antle made him pay. He escaped and ran out. Um, and just that, that, that play and that hit, I was like, wow. Um, and it definitely sent a message. And, and I definitely think it changed the, the kind of tone of the game as well. With Chris knocked out of the game, Notre Dame turned to true freshman Tommy Reese, who threw a touchdown pass to make it 7-6. to six. But TU blocked the extra point, and Cornelius Arnick took it all the way back for a 9-6 TU lead. But Reese threw two more TD passes in the first half, and Notre Dame led 20-12 to 12 as they drove late first half. And then an epic play. Reese standing at the 35 of TU. He has the snap. Here comes a blitz, and the pass is batted in the air. Intercepted by Jackson. It's intercepted by Sean Jackson. Left side, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. That's a touchdown, Tulsa. My goodness, what a turn of events. We're pressuring, um, and, you know, it was all out blitz, um, and they threw, they had a quick scream coming, and, you know, uh, Twan didn't get there, so he got his hands up like coach teaches, um, and he was able to bat the ball. Um, I heard the ball go in the air, first instinct, look up, um, catch the ball. Uh, a guy tried to tackle me, break the tackle, um, off to the races. And so it was 20 to 18 Notre Dame at halftime. After Reese threw his fourth touchdown pass of the game and TU trailed 27-18, the Hurricane forced a Notre Dame punt. Goes up spiral, it'll be taken by Demaris Johnson at the 41, makes two guys miss. Near side to the 50, he's to the 40, inside to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, the 10, left side to the 5, touchdown! Demaris Johnson returns it all the way for a score for the Golden Hurricane. I remember that punt, it was a not, didn't have great hang time on it, it was a great return ball, and I remember when he kicked it, and I watched it, you know, the track of the ball, and as he caught it, man, I, I, I thought to myself, watch out. Midway through the fourth quarter and TU down 27-25, the Hurricane got the ball with just over eight minutes to play. They converted on a clutch third and 26 play, Kinney to Ricky Jackson to keep the drive alive, and then another pass to Genesis Cole, and the Hurricane was set up for Kevin Fitzpatrick and a 27-yard field goal, and it gave Tulsa a one-point lead. But Notre Dame drove it down the field and called a timeout at the TU 19 with 42 seconds left. Everyone thought they'd run it and kick a field goal, but they wanted one more shot at the end zone. Reese has the snap. He'll roll out to the right. Here's a throw into the end zone. Intercepted by TU. Intercepted by John Flanders. Flanders intercepted the ball in the end zone, and Tulsa has the ball. When he threw it up and I saw John come down with it, and it was amazing. There's never been a play uh, that I had more, you know, jubilation on than that play because here, here it is, a guy nobody knows that got that comes from a program with a bunch of young men that had an unbelievable character, elite discipline, they loved each other, and man, they pulled together. John Flanders' interception sealed the deal, and TU upset Notre Dame 28-27. More on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment. the American. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Rib Crib's been smoking the good stuff over 20 years, serving up mouth-watering barbecue, talking about slow-smoked classics like Rib Crib's famous ribs. Yeah. Hungry yet? Rib Crib. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. 
We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our tender mac bowl meal or our buffalo tender mac bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. All right, so Coach, an amazing comeback. And, of course, this series has been all about this. I mean, that's all this series has been going back to my first year 32 years ago doing these games. In that second half, what did you really see click offensively? Well, I just – we stayed patient but aggressive at the same time. You know, I, I thought Zach did a really good job of mixing in some of the RPO parts of it, just really taking sleep when he had him, taking J.J. when he had him, running the football and mixing it up. I thought we did a really good job with tempo. We felt like that was uh, worrisome for them. I didn't think they were getting aligned very well to some of that. And so we, we played that up a little bit more in the second half, sped it up a little more in the second half. And then he just kind of got in the rhythm. Receivers got in the rhythm. We got behind the chains at times, come up with a big throw, come up with a big catch. So all of those factors just can kind of continue to lean us down that, that path, and they did a great job of finishing. Tulsa had never been 3-0 in conference play. They're now 4-0, and now for the first time, Tulsa's beaten two ranked teams in the same year. And just this overall win, what does it do for a team? Well, you know, obviously it gives us confidence. Um, we know we're, we haven't played our best football yet. We know the ceiling is still up there. We still got a lot of work to do. We got a short week with a talented Tulane team. But like you said, this series, this rivalry has always been like this. You know, we all know what happened last year and we go down there and we've got a great lead going into the fourth quarter and, you know, three overtimes later, don't come out on top. Tonight, it flipped and our guys did a great job of continuing to drive. We'll come to you next Thursday after TU and Tulane. Yeah, no doubt about it. It is a short turnaround. The Hurricane taking on a very tough Tulane team that will come in 5-4 and four overall. Big game on Thursday. We will see you here at H.A. Chapman Stadium. If you want ticket information, TulsaHurricane.com slash tickets or 918-631-GO-TO-YOU. For head coach Philip Montgomery and my broadcast partner Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. Talk to you next week. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi.